You've never taken a DNA test. You've never looked up any long lost relatives. You may not even have fingerprints. That doesn't matter. Your DNA is probably still out there in the wild. The thing is, there are a bunch of people out there in the world that have DNA that matches bits of your genetic code. One study suggests just 2% of people need to share their genetic information to make everyone else virtually identifiable. Unlike your Instagram profile, once your genetic information is public, there's no easy little button to toggle if you want to take it back to private. So you might as well know what you're in store for. It's hugely benefited the fields of medicine and criminal justice, but has also raised concerns about identity and privacy. There's also reasons for companies like insurance providers to take an interest in your physical makeup. The US military has advised its personnel to avoid taking DNA tests because it could reveal a disease marker that may or may not be accurate and could hinder a career. Your DNA could also reveal relatives you may or may not want to find. 70 countries report having a DNA database, and Interpol says theirs has contributions from 85 countries that help them fight crime and the forces of evil. Most commercial testing companies say they require a warrant to let police access customer data. When it comes to medical research, DNA can be shared if the data is anonymized in the US and if it's in a medical setting, and in the EU if it's in the public's interest. Anonymized data means names and contact information aren't attached to DNA, making it harder to identify people, but it can still be done. Testing companies also share data with academics and drug company researchers. Also, databases can be hacked. What does this mean for everyone? Since there's little hope in keeping our genetic information private, experts have begun calling for more regulation to make sure data are not abused. That's the hot take. Thanks for watching.